Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you game 3 in a best of 3 between Player and Fohati in the semi-finals of Herr Robert's Grand Tournament. Today we are going to be seeing Colin Bell and on the allied side Player is using the Guards Armoured and on the Axis side Vohati is using the 9th Panzer. So we did see in the last game that Vohati actually defeated the 9th Panzer with the 7th Armoured very convincingly and I guess it's player's chance to get revenge with an allied division but we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. He did show very good prowess in the first game. Player dominated Vohati using the first Panzerna against the 116th. That was a really exciting game and if you guys haven't seen it already make sure you go check it out. But let's focus on this one. So Guards Armoured, they have the Stuart 6s, they've got the Cromwell 7, which I really like in Phase A, um, they've got Cromwell 5s, and they do have some AT, but it's not that great. Moving into sort of Phase B and stuff, they've got their long-range artillery, which won't be particularly useful against the Ninth Panzer, but I think the main thing for the Guards is that they have armor throughout the entire game that matches up well to the ninth panzer the ninth panzer of, of course use like panzer twos the panzer ones um, they have the marders in phase a then moving into b you get the panzer fours and then that transitions into tigers in the late game but i don't feel like the ninth panzer really has um, a stable late game uh, like the guards armored do so i feel like if it gets that late and then one of the tigers dies the front line for the Ninth Panzer can completely fall apart. That's something that we've seen so often with the Ninth Panzer. They just don't have the same staying power as some of the other Axis divisions into the late game. And that's where Allied divisions can actually take advantage. Whereas in other Axis like games where they're ahead, you know, they don't have that same chance to sort of fall apart into the late game. But either way, let's have a quick look at what's going down here and players' movements. So on the top side, it's going to be a Vickers HMG. It's going to be a six-pounder up there. So we've got some rifles, two Stuarts. They're heading towards the factory. Two units of rifles for the factory itself with some command. Further down is a six-pounder. Stuart six on the bottom side and some recon there. Looks like the Stuart six is just sitting idle for the time being. Maybe player didn't manage to get all of his orders done before the game started but for the ninth panzer it's going to be panzer grenadiers on the top side with a panzer shrek covering the roads command for the factory with the panzer shrek going in there with the stern pioneers and the panzer grand panzer 2 looks joining the party panzer grenadiers going to be sitting and covering that road and significant number of forces on the bottom side here for vohati it's going to be uh, a unit of stern pioneers panzer grand command panzer shrek spirit and that shallot so, now that that uh, speed wrap of units is over, <laughs> we can focus on the gameplay and what these units are actually going to do. So, the Stuart Sixes should actually be able to deal with this Panzer II looks quite nicely, even at close range. The Panzer II looks does have the benefit of having the higher veterancy, which is really nice. Um, but the Stuart Sixes, if they get like the one star veterancy, like in this case from the motorized rifle leader, then they should have a, a fair chance of fighting back and probably getting a kill with one shot. Because the closer you get, the more accurate you get, and you also get the extra AP. So, much higher chance of just getting a kill if you hit. Um, Panzer Shrek, that could be the difference in this factory engagement it seems as though both players are being very cautious the player is finally going to try and push up a little bit but I don't really expect him to want a prolonged engagement in the factory I think both players will be looking for advantages elsewhere however saying that the majority of players points are in that area whereas Vohati has kind of two focuses he's got Obviously, his men in the factory with the Panzer II looks and this sort of infantry force on the bottom side. Now, the trouble with this infantry force is there was no armor. There is a Marder III now on the way, and that makes quite a big difference. Looks like the Stuart did manage to get line of sight onto one of the half tracks, which is a nice little kill there. Takes away some of the fire support that uh, Vorhati would otherwise be using. Panzer Grenfjord are going to get down some smoke as the Stern Pioneers and Panzer Grenadiers cross the open there. 
with the idea of running down these Reki that were originally spotted by the spear troop but as they get close to the other side of the trees here they're going to have to be wary that the Stuart 6 will chew them up with the 330 cows that can be very very powerful indeed and due to it being 330 cows it uh, increases the suppression now one thing that people don't realize is that the guns here they may only have 7 HE but because it's 330 cows it actually increases the suppression and like how quickly they suppress so Willie's OMG, that's going to be opening up onto the Spear Troop. That's quite a bit of damage, actually. That's quite uh, remarkable. Panzer Grenadiers, though, should kill the uh, the Willie's MMG because it doesn't have any armor, so the MGs do rip them to shreds. Rifles are going to be continuing to push forwards. At a close-range engagement, the Panzer Grenadiers would lose to rifles, so player can take advantage of that, the AP 8 HE versus the 5 HE of the Panzer Grenadiers. It looks like the Stuarts did push down this bottom side and kill the Panzer II looks as well. So for Hattie losing out in some of these early engagements, which is not ideal, but it looks like Vohati is going to get his chance to get some back onto player as he gets that lovely Panzer Faust shot into the Stuart 6. I think that was very careless actually from player. Uh, he's got the six pounder on return fire though, and that looks to be ambushing the Marda 3. There's actually a good chance that could get a kill here because it will have plenty of shots on target. It really depends on the micro of Vohati and it looks like he is just going to be able to get that out of the way. A nice micro there. Just using the line of sight perfectly to stop the six pounder from getting the kill. Meanwhile, we do see that this half track's taking advantage of a salient in the middle. It's going to be covered off by the Marda 3, which is going to stop the Stuart 6 from killing the half track. However, I'm sure there's a way that the Stuart 6 can find line of sight without being in line of sight of the Marda 3, and it has done. So that's something. But the Panzerstreck has jumped down here. Another Stuart 6 has gone down. And uh, player is, again, being very careless with these Stuart 6s. I think that was just nice micro day from the Panzerstreck. But having one of the Stuarts right in the middle of the factory there without like control of these buildings. That is careless anyway. Stuart 6 does find the kill onto the half track, but the Marder 3 returns it. Now Panzer 2, Befell Panzer 2 and Panzer 2 looks heading into this factory and with all the Stuart 6s dead, that puts Vohati in a very strong position because when there is no like enemy armor on the other side, those Panzer 2s can rip through the rest like they can take on AT guns because of the 20mm auto cannons, they can kill off infantry very quickly and that allows them to make a lot of ground in a short amount of time. So Vahati definitely now on the front foot after losing out in a couple of awkward engagements. Panzer Grenadier is going to be trying to find a kill onto this 6 pounder, removing that would get rid of the threat for these Marder 3s allowing them to continue to push up but a Cromwell 7 is on the field and that could certainly do well if it gets the 1000 meter range engagement with the Marder 3s but you can see Vohati doesn't want that to happen himself it's going to be backing them off taking advantage of that max range the best he can. The rifles won that engagement against the Panzer Grenadiers at close range. Stern Pioneers have taken a lot of damage and I don't think have done much in return so it's going to be awkward to use them from now on the flamethrower just a bit useless now because as soon as it fires it won't likely kill a squad it will just get killed itself these Panzer twos might be able to save the day though the rifles don't have any AP like they don't have piots or anything so the, the Panzer twos can quite simply drive up to them and do the job that way now the Panzer Grenadier did fail to kill this six pounder which could actually be quite significant especially in an engagement against the Marder threes here uh, but the Cromwell 7, that's going to find the Surrender as well. And these two half-tracks aren't in a very good spot on this bottom side with, this, with the Stuart 6 engaging them. So Cromwell 7, that's going to be looking to engage one of these Marders at a time. What I'd like to see accompany these tanks on the bottom side, though, is some command. Um, as the extra command star in this sort of close range would make a lot of difference. Now, there's a chance here that the Marder 3 could one-shot the, uh, the Cromwell 6. So player does still have to be careful and cautious about that engagement. Ideally you'd want to maybe bring in like a fighter or something to maybe strafe the Marder 3 and then have the Cromwell 7 engage but by not engaging now Vohati is just going to pull back. There was a surrender of an infantry squad on the bottom side. Players taking full advantage of that getting some motorized rifles into a really awkward situation for Vohati because if those actually unload into these trees 
the Marders can't really go downwards and that will make it easier to exploit with these tanks. You see the Stuart 6 trying to make ground here whilst the motorized rifles are causing that distraction. And it's just very smart play here from player. Trying to basically distract the Marders and approach in the meantime, bringing the Cromwell 7 over to the same area to take advantage of that. Now the half-track probably didn't have to die in that situation, but he still has the motorized rifles there, so it's not the end of the world. Stuart 6 nearly gets taken out by the Panzerrek. Vati's being very cheeky with those. We've seen him do a lot of damage with Panzerreks in the past, especially with divisions like the 17th SS and so on. So that's uh, something he's putting to work here. And it has worked out quite well so far, with a lot of the Stuart 6s already dying. Uh, but getting another Stuart 6 kill would be very nice for him. Mod 3 is in using the 1200m uh, range to kill off the 6-pounder. That loss is unfortunate. Mod 3 going to have to be very careful tr trying to poke around there. Because these are self-propelled AT guns, um, the Stuarts and Cromwells have that natural advantage at close range something that player can definitely take advantage of but the player's got to be really careful that he doesn't lose these rifles because if he does then the Panzer Shrek will be free to move forwards find kills onto these tanks and that is something that he cannot afford right now he's already kind of on the back foot a little bit in terms of cost of units on the field um, if for example these two tanks go down it would be absolutely devastating and Vohati could exploit that a lot but a nice return kill on the top side Panzer II looks does go down. Flampanzer has joined the offensive in the factory here. You could be finding and killing off these rifles with the help of the Panzergun Führer and that's going to give the factory completely over to Verhati. So nice move there making good use of the Flampanzer. Marder 3 in the meantime going to be pinning down those motorized rifles that were on the bottom side. I think previously they were told to retreat when they probably didn't need to and um, therefore left themselves in line of sight of the Marder 3. Panzer 2 looks going hard here up the main road. Does manage to crew knock out the Stuart 6 but couldn't stay there to fight it since the Cromwell 7 is there. Oh nice hit there from the Marder 3 exploiting its range once again although the Stuart 6 would have been able to fight back but gets away with just an ammo storage hit. The first shot there not actually pinning the Stuart 6 therefore not causing it to fall back awkwardly. Now this Panzer II, <laughs> it's certainly getting very ambitious. I thought he might stop it behind this tree line, but nope, he's kept going. And the rifles here, they're not pinned, so they don't get surrendered. He is going to pin them after the fact, probably. But cannot stick around. The Cromwell 7 is coming to hunt him down. This Panzer II has pushed past the factory. And this is very interesting. You can see that the Panzer IIs can exploit the places where there aren't significant armor and that's exactly what's happening. Now the Stuart VI and Humber Mark III should be able to take on the looks but oh nice track will destroy an engine destroy there as it gets a side shot into the Stuart VI. The Fell Panzer II comes in from the side as well and that, oh, what a pincer engagement onto the Humber Mark III and the Stuart VI. Takes out the half-track as well. Six-pounder fails to kill the Befell Panzer II. That was wonderful to watch. The mobility of the units being worked around perfectly there. And the Pack 38 kills off another Humber Mark III. That is really, really nice. So, player in a bit, bit of a sticky spot. Vohati, though, doesn't have much infantry to fill up this oh, factory. And a lovely shot there from the unvetted six-pounder. Kills the Marda III. And Vohati will not be happy about that. So Cromwell 7 cleaned up one of the Panzer II looks. Now looking to clean up the next. As it is attacking that Humber on the top side. Stug 3 has been brought in for Vohati. With uh, the 3 star veteran seat. That has a good chance of killing off this Cromwell 7. Cromwell 6 in the meantime though. Does clean up Stern Pioneers on the bottom side. But this Panzer Shrek is still a big threat. And is definitely preventing player from making too much progress here he's going to have to bring in some more infantry or just some recon to spot the infantry squads or potential infantry squads in this forest before he can then 
advance aggressively towards the Marder 3s and so on. But as we can see on this top side, the Sherman 5 coming in accompanied by some rifles is going to be able to start punching its way back through the factory. These poor speed troop getting absolutely melted. And now player looks to be relatively even again. It's Vohati who's lost quite a lot of his forces. He definitely overextended with the pushers on the Panzer II looks, but there's potential that that can go so damn well. Like if in phase A, player runs out of significant armor, those Panzer II looks go wild and we did see it, but we've got into phase B player does have the reinforcements he needs in the form of the Sherman 5s and the Cromwell 7s and now Vohati will have to respond accordingly with his own Panzer 4s with the Stug 3 for example and that slowed down the game a lot once again. So Pioneer Fjord are now coming in with the SD KFZ 251.9 that's going to be able to kill the Sherman 5 at close range but whether or not it actually gets the shot off remains to be seen. These Pioneer Fjord are not in an ideal location. But the Panzer Grenadiers, they're going to jump forwards. They get the bailout onto the Sherman 5. That is exactly what he wants because now the 251-9 can just freely engage and does find the kill nice and easy. Pioneer Fjord take out one of the rifle squads. Very well managed engagement here from Vohati. Now the 251-9 uh, might look to engage the Cromwell 7, but... It's difficult because the Cromwell 7 should be able to do a lot of damage very quickly. You can see how quickly they aim. Oh, how did the 251.9 tank that shot to the front there? That is impressive. Panzer 4J is on its way. Could suffer though at this sort of engagement range because once again the Cromwell 7 will aim faster than the units that Vohati is relying upon. It's interesting to see Vohati kind of neglect this bottom side now putting more emphasis into the factory once again since he's reacting to where player placed his shermans has obviously taken out one for free with the panzer grenadiers which was fantastic but now needs to take care of the uh, second sherman as well as the cromwell 7. he's got to figure out a way to do that he does have this bo panzer 4 on the way and i like the prospects of this Panzer IV in taking on um, these tanks in the factory because with a Panzer IV that comes in with off map you can put it on the tank force the tanks to come out from cover and then take the shot and that often means that you get the first shot as a Panzer IV which is pretty significant and the reason it is so significant is because like high hate like the high AP of the 14 AP will pin the enemy tank quite a lot and cause a lot of morale damage and that can make a significant difference now the pioneer if you know they don't want to die jumping them out the building there would be a smart idea um, but it looks like Vohati is just going to be looking to engage with the Panzer 4J at close range and the Stug 3 rather than relying on this BO Panzer 4 that's probably looking to off map the 6 pound on the top side and try and exploit some ground there but this salient is telling in the mid and you can see that player is going to be bringing some rifles down this main road he might even choose to send them further in because that yeah the salient is telling a lot to player right now about where Vohati's troops are from mile seven surely it can get the kill this time it actually misses at that range the lack of veterancy here definitely showing on the side of player so can this Panzer IV help out here. I'm not sure it would be in range, right, to actually offer the off-map support. If it is, then it should probably try and off-map the Cromwell 7 and the Sherman 5, because dislodging those and allowing the Stug 3 an easy engagement would be really nice. Pioneers, they are going to be engaging these rifles. Will be able to get a grenade off. Does a lot of damage to players' rifles before he decides to jump back. The off-map's actually coming down on these dock buildings which is interesting I'm not entirely sure I'm convinced that's the right choice but killing the uh, Vickers HMG definitely helps I guess as with the advance of infantry and therefore he can use his infantry to find and kill the six pounder without being under fire himself so that is a reason that you would do that more infantry on its way to support this factory 
both players definitely prioritizing the control of the factory throughout the game so far. BEO Panzer IV, it has been spotted in the face of the six pounder, but the six pounder gets the kill with the second shot. That is nasty for Vohati losing that capability on the top side is is massive he's only used one off map strike from that panzer 4 and then it goes down like the befell panzer 2c might be able to exploit the gap here if it can get the kill onto the six pounder but that is really really tough for Vahati. pioneers they managed to get through the rifles on the bottom side of the factory only one man from each squad there to clean up might be able to get through okay it looks like a, an off map strike did come down onto uh, the top side but not onto the six pounder and the six pounder with that much stress one shots the panzer two that is incredible really really unfortunate there for Vahati this panzer 4 J did take a weapon jam from the six pounder as well that six pounder has been an absolute hero uh, in which it probably shouldn't have been. I, I, I thoroughly expected a push all the way through on that top side from Vahati. But it's staying remarkably close. We are on 381 points for player, 322 for Vahati. So both have made ground at some point in this game so far. Now it's up to Vohati to sort of get out of this sticky spot that he's in because losing that many resources on the top side made a huge difference. He's under pressure on the bottom side as well. Player is pushing onto the Panzerstreck and Spear Throop and he can't really afford to lose the Panzerstreck here because he needs something that can threaten the tank advance on the bottom side. Otherwise what's going to happen is the Mod 3 will come under threat at close range and that's just not what he can deal with. Anyway... Pioneers continuing to engage in the factory here. Supported by the Sturm Pioneers actually worked out quite nicely there. Sometimes the flamethrowers suffer at super close range engagements. But uh, managing to get the shot off there pushes those rifles back and helps them out for a little bit. So it looks like the 251.9 might be able to get some shots on target. And that should do a significant amount of damage. It does have the 9HG on its main gun and the 7HG on its machine gun. Salin is forming on the top side. Vohati going to be trying to run down the six pounder here. The Panzer Grenadiers were able to run right up to the face of it, which then led the way for the half tracks and the Panzer II. Player was forced to like fall those back. He will have some motorized rifles in here, but they won't really last well in the face of the oncoming units. It is still 50 50. Pack 38 goes down on the top side. Cromwell 7 and Sherman 5 now getting aggressive. 251.9 needs to be very careful with what it's doing. Stug 3. Looks like that's going to be engaging the Crusader AA Mark 2. But <laughs> the 259 I think just got killed by the Crusader AA in a very short amount of time. So a nice lucky kill there for player. Rifles uh, do clean up some Panzer Grenadiers on the top side of the factory. But look at this. Stern Pioneers engaging motorized rifles. Motorized rifles, if they get the Piat kill onto the half track, they could pin down these infantry squads. I don't think it was actually close enough in the end to do that, but there was a chance. Panzer 2C going to be finishing off that half track. Pack 40 is trying to cover that attack on the top side. But now we're into phase C. We can see Tigers are on the field, and it's really up to Vohati to keep these alive, especially in the face of two star fireflies. Uh, player making sure that he has a dingo with those in order to get that veteran seat up. So two star Fireflight versus Tiger. The Firefly has the potential to win and does do so. The one shot coming through. Because it has base six accuracy plus the two star, it's actually pretty likely to hit that shot at range and definitely kill if it does hit because of 16 AP versus 12 armor. But nice kill indeed. Uh, Cromwell 6 and Firefly take out the pack 40. And that's removing a lot of the threat from the bottom side. And without that Tiger, things get even more difficult for Vahati. He's holding on because he has a salient on this top side. And the combination of the Stern Pioneers and the Pfeil Panzer 2C um, are enough to kind of hold this ground for now. The Panzer 2 can kill a Sherman at close range. The Sherman also has to worry about the pack 40. So player would have to bring in something that can deal with that. 
player though losing his Sherman 5 OP here to the Stug 3 by the looks of things. It's got a bailed out track wheel damage. Was retreating. The uh, Stug 3 finishes the job. Cromwell 7 has also gone down in the meantime here. The Stug 3 dealing with that. Now we'll be looking for an engagement with the Sherman 5. 2, 3, 4, 1 now on the field. And look at this. <laughs> the Fireflies come up on this bottom side. The Sturm Pioneers smoked it off. And now I don't think the Marder 3 is being faced properly. So the, the Firefly should get the kill. Although the gun of the Firefly was pointing the complete wrong way. And the Marder 3 gets the kill. Unbelievable. What a very, very nice kill there for Vohati. You would have thought after that Tiger was down that this Marda 3 was mincemeat. But a fantastic job to take out the Firefly. Like I mentioned, the Firefly was aiming more towards the center of the map. So it had to not only turn its hull, but the turret as well. It made a huge difference. And uh, that's definitely swung Vohati's fate on the bottom side. Still, the player's got the plus one. He's managed to get through the looks, get through the pack 40 up here, and that should push a salient back in his favor. Crusader AA Mark II going to be covering off the backside of the factory. Sherman 5 going to be engaging the Spear Troop there. The Stug 3, can it get a close range engagement? 2, 3, 4, 1 going to be coming in at close range, trying to micro it so that he can attack it from both sides. Oh, Sherman 5, oh, covered off by the smoke of the motorized rifle leader. These players are too damn good. That is incredible stuff. And now the Sherman 5. Can it get the engagement with the Sherman 5? There's another smoke being thrown. Driver wounded for the 2, 3, 4, 1. Can the Sherman 5 turn its turret in time? It doesn't need to. The track will damage. Sherman 5 drives into the smoke. Can he get out of line of sight? He can. The Sherman 5 is coming in so close to this Stug 3. The Stug 3 surely at a disadvantage because the Sherman should out-aim the Stug if it comes into line of sight. Can he get the kill? Crew wounded. This is incredible stuff. Sherman 5 <laughs> should win the engagement now as long as it hits the mark. Gets a spalling crew wounded. Can the Stug 3 find the shot? It does. Track wheel damage. <laughs> this is incredible. The Sturman 5 is still alive, does not survive the last shot from the Stug 3. Wow, what a what an engagement. That was incredible. Tiger Ree comes in on the top side, takes out the Sherman 5 there. Panzer 4 J with its weapon damage isn't gonna expect to do much against the Sherman 5, but <laughs> what an incredible, incredible engagement in that factory. Really well played with the motorized rifle leader there. Gave the Sherman 5 all the chance it needed, but couldn't quite find the kill. The fact that he got a spalling wounded that only gave a two second crew wound was just insane. The chance of that happening was just so unfortunate for player. I felt like he was robbed of that kill. But at the moment he's sitting with the territory and I'm sure he will be annoyed but not completely dismayed as uh, yeah, he does have the advantage still in this game. Wow, some of these engagements from Vohati have been just so good for him like the firefly dying on the bottom side to the marder 3 and the stug 3 there killing the sherman 5 are two kills that should have probably fallen in the favor of players so now he's just going to make the most of it he's coming in with two two three four ones to have a go at the sherman 5 but this sherman 5 ain't missing it's taking the bailout onto the two three four one it might also be able to clean up the tiger at close range there's potential for that not entirely sure where the Panzer IV is trying to go. Maybe just uh, cause a distraction so the Tiger can come round the corner and get a kill. 17 pounder does come in on the top side. That it, that will stop the advance of the Tiger for the time being. One thing that I am seeing is a severe lack of infantry for Bohati. And I feel like he is definitely low on infantry at this point. It's been quite an attritional game in the factory. Like both players throwing a lot of infantry at each other but nice kill there for player uses his grenades to kill the 2341 i honestly feel like that shouldn't happen though like the 2341 is is called an open top vehicle but i'm pretty sure they have the grenade like thing on top of it to stop it from having grenades thrown in it's got like a like the netting like great thing that they pull over to stop grenades going in um, so yeah, interesting that that can happen, but it is just game mechanics at the end of the day. Rifles get the kill, and that's all that matters. Half-Track does survive for now. 
Birds without much re uh, much infantry uh, joining that factory, things are getting difficult for Vohati now. And as you can see, players still got more infantry coming in. There is uh, the continued push on the bottom side here, but the Sternpine has been holding really well. Do end up going down to the Dingo though, which may allow the Vickers HMG or even the Recky here just to move forwards a little bit. One trouble the player is going to have is that these Achilles can't really work through the Marder 3 that well. Um, he needs like a Sherman down here or just a Cromwell, something that can aim fast at close range uh, to take out this Marder 3. Um, or he could maybe get a motorized rifle down here and get the Piat on target, but that is a risky one because we all know how unreliable Piats are. Now the Opal Blitz Munition trying to reload the Stug 3 is not going to be allowed to does take a strafing run from the Tempest. Very smart move there from player. He doesn't want this Stug 3 to recover because it is a three star Stug 3 at the end of the day. It is able to turn and aim onto the Sherman 3 at close range. Three star veterans he actually misses, which is incredible. The Sherman 5, I feel, got lucky there. It was unfortunate that the Sherman didn't hit in the first place, but the fact that the Stug didn't either <laughs> was quite insane. Some of the, these tank engagements today have just been crazy. Another Stug 3 is on the way. Uh, we've got a 251.9 coming in as well. Not going to survive this time. Sherman 5 comes through the factory, gets the shot in. Needs to kill the 263 as well. Panzer 1C is just a sitting duck. Motorized Rifle has the Piat on target. Driver Wound is, is going to allow the Sherman 5 to come up and kill that. And well, now Vohati is in trouble. The Tiger might be able to just stop armor engagements on the top side. But in this factory, I think his chances are long gone without the addition of more infantry. Cromwell 6 is now engaging the Marder 3. The Achilles engaging with their 50 cows and main gun is going to be enough to force his Marder 3 back. I think it was initially forced back by the Tempest strafe. So great job done there by player. The Recky actually ends up killing the half track with the grenades. So Vahati in an extremely, extremely bad situation. I just kind of run out of steam, I feel. Whereas the sort of guards they've maintained that stability into the late game it's actually going back all the way to what i said at the start of the game it's, it's turned out exactly how i kind of imagined it to um the ninth panzer if it loses like one of its tigers just doesn't have like enough presence on the map to stop more versatile and more availability based divisions from punching through they just don't have enough and that's exactly what we're seeing here. It's like one of those weaknesses that is incredibly apparent in the 6th Airborne Division, for example. They run out of availability. They have like the least amount of stuff to spend points on in the entire game. And the 9th Panzer, I feel, is, is close to that. It's not as extreme, but it's like they, they run out of stuff. And run out of stuff that's important and that can make a difference at least. And therefore they get stuck in this situation if your unit preservation is not on point. And Vohati, even though he's got lucky with a couple of the tank engagements, has still not been able to hold the ground against player. And player has been playing very well and, and, and very smart. Uh, Vohati has as well, but it's just players outplayed Vohati, I feel, throughout this game so far. And, and just a great job to do so. However, <laughs> Vohati, it's not over yet. 88 comes in, one bangs one of the Achilles, hits the second with a driver wound, surely going to find the kill with the next shot. Tempest coming in, might have gone for the strafing run, didn't quite. That was an impressive reload though from the 88 as it kills the Achilles, hits the aircraft. That is both of the Achilles dead. Bingo is still holding the ground, which is uh, lucky for player, but he doesn't want to let that get killed by the Panzer 1C. I'm not sure that Vohati knows it's there though. Salient is being found on the top side. Nice job by Vohati to get on top of this 17 pounder with the 2341, finding a lot of ground. The uh, new uh, artillery Panzer 4 comes in and pins down that 
forces it back, allows the surrenders to come through. So a little bit of ground made back, definitely not giving this up easily. And there is a potential, especially on the bottom side here, for a salient to form in favour of Vahati, but there is pretty much no chance that he takes back the factory at this point. So he will have to make a lot of ground elsewhere and possibly entirely surround the factory in order to come back in this game. And considering there is only 6 minutes and 55 seconds left on the clock, I don't think it's mathematically possible for him to really come back in this game right now uh, unless he was sitting at like a plus 5 at this point. But is still going to be fighting on. Panzer IV looking for the engagement with the Firefly. Tiger's also going to be pressing on. 2, 3, 4, 1 leading the charge. Do you see that the Stug 3 here did take a track wheel damage. Motorized Rifle, can they find the Piat kill onto the Flam Panzer? They cannot. Flam Panzer does manage to get away with that one. Panzer 4J now approaching the Sherman 5 here, but that is covered off slightly by the terrain. Oh, 2, 3, 4, 1 does go down. Tiger died as well. Firefly coming around the corner. Can it get the kill onto the Panzer 4? Not sure it can. Where did that tiger go? Oh, it went down here. Never mind, it's still alive. <laughs> that was that was going to be incredibly shocking if it just died that easily. But no, uh, Vohati just decided to move it down to the behind the factory, and I think that's actually pretty smart. He knows at this point he's probably going to have to cut it off, and that's something he can try to do. However, don't think he accounted for the two-star Typhoon AT coming in. That is going to kill the tiger. The Bef the Bef BO Panzer IV on the top side gets bailed out by the Firefly and surely that is curtains for Vohati. He tried, he certainly tried, but that Typhoon AT did the job there very nicely and destroying the second Tiger is generally where the game ends for the ninth Panzer. Now Sherman V winning the close range engagement you can see just how much quicker the Sherman 5 actually aims than the Panzer 4J. And the Panzer 4J microed to perfection there by player to take that engagement, get the track wheel damage initially, then force it to fall back, now find the kill. Very, very good job there. These Sherman 5s have been used nicely uh, throughout the game to support infantry. I think uh, he player was very careless early on with his Stuart Sixes, but later on in the game, I think he sort of respected what Vohati was doing a bit more and uh, definitely started to outplay a lot of what Vohati was doing. Now the Sherman 5 can pretty much freely advance. He wants to stop any reinforcements coming in towards the factory here. We'll be able to get a shot onto the 263, but doesn't quite get the kill. Stug going to try and advance a little bit, but with the track wheel damage, not going to go anywhere quickly. 88 kills a dingo on the bottom side. There is motorized rifles in that position now, though. So that's not going to change. And a plus three on the side of player means that he is going to win in the four minutes but let's have a look at the rest of these engagements motorized rifles do go down to the flam panzer as they miss that peer what a surprise the stug three um, now looking for the kill onto the crusader aa the crusader aa could probably kill the flam panzer actually so it looks like that's something that the player is going for and since a lot of this infantry actually doesn't have peers I think the Flam Panzer could do a good job, but the Sherman 5's creeped around behind this push, takes out the Flam Panzer, it's going to be engaging the 263, finds the engine destroyed, kills it with the 50 cal. Now going to be engaging the 263 and the Stug. And at this close range, like the Stug's facing completely the wrong direction, the Sherman 5 can just move up surely and find the kill. Flam Panzer goes down above the factory as well. Is Sherman 5 coming up? Will it get the job done? I think this Stug's trying to slowly but surely come round. But the Tempest strafed the Stug to death. It doesn't get <laughs> more crazy than that towards the end of this game. I'm pretty sure that Tempest secured the kill there. Nice bombing strike by the Fog Wolf. But uh, I am so done. This game has been absolutely incredible.
Stoke 3 is is winning an engagement against the Firefly, which is something you don't see very often, especially considering the Firefly has a 1,200 meter range and the Stoke 3 only has a 1,000 meter range. Um, Stoke 3 going to have to be forced to clean up this M5 half track that's being cheeky, and it will go down. Now the Stoke just wants to fast move up the road and finish its kill. 88 has been pinned on the bottom side, Cromwell 6 taking care of that artillery coming in onto the other 88 but after 37 minutes and 56 seconds Vohati is victorious not Vohati sorry <laughs> player is victorious in this best of three we could not ask for a better game for the third game in this series that is incredible fantastic fantastic stuff from both players I feel like Vohati got lucky with some of his engagements and player, he was careless at the start with the Stuart 6. But once he started to use the the phase B units, he got like the Shermans on the board. He really sort of brought it back from the brink of like a breakthrough, right? The, you saw the Panzer II looks go headlong into the front line and, and find salience, but were cleaned up and after that, I feel like Vahati had a weak front line that player then exploited to get the game back in his favor. And, oh, wow, just incredible stuff. So the Stuart Sixes, yeah, they got a couple kills bet like between them, but not nothing too significant in the early game. He was definitely struggling. But you can see as the Sherman 5s come in, as this Cromwell 6 is here, Cromwell 7 against Sherman 5, the kills start to rack up a lot more and it makes a big difference. Crusader AA Mark II credited the kill for Panzer IV J. Let's have a look at this Tempest. Yeah, again, these Sherman 5s just made all the difference. It did. The Tempest strafed the Stug to death. <laughs> that is... That is incredible. Okay, Typhoon 80 uh, does manage to uh, kill that Tiger, which was nice. Kind of sealed the deal. Although, at that point, the game was already done. Uh, but in the early game, Vohati with this Marder 3. Great job killing up the killing the six Stuart 6s. The Panzer Shreks were microed very well. Uh, this Panzer 2 looks did well as well. There was a really nice moment in the factory where there was like a pincer movement from two of the 20mm auto units. That was perfect. This Stug 3 probably got a bit more lucky than it should have. Um... And yeah, you can see there are a few kills here and there moving into the late game, but this, the game was pretty much already over there. The 88 picking up both the Achilles was really nice for Vahati at the end, but didn't really affect the outcome all too much. And there you have it. I am so done after this game. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. That was absolutely incredible. So congratulations to player. We'll be moving on to the final to face off against Fusil. Vohati going to be playing in the third place final against Dinesta. But that's all. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>